All right, here we go. Tower two, engine 16, medic 10, engine eight. Respond to a car into a truck. Fuel leaking on the ground, Kipling and Hamden. For our multi-company drills throughout June and July, we're doing class B fires with foam application techniques. We looked at pre-planning, what kind of incidents could we have in our district? One of those we recognized was a cars or truck accidents on the freeways and interstate causing a leakage of fuel and then a fire. We call that a class B fire. To extinguish that, we use foam. Think about a 55 gallon barrel of fuel. If we use our traditional fire attack with a fire attack stream at 150 or greater GPM, and we spray water right into that barrel, and it's on fire, it's gonna just spread fire all over the place. What we wanna do is essentially put a lid on it. The lid is basically that foam. We apply the foam blanket either in front of or behind or rain it down, and our three different basic techniques are to create a foam blanket over that flaming liquid. That puts it out without disturbing it. Just as you would in a grease fire in your kitchen, if you splash water on it, that water expands and it just basically spreads the problem around your kitchen. The best technique for that is to cover that fire or to use a dry chemical extinguisher that's made for a grease fire. On the street, when we're dealing with hydrocarbons, a diesel or gasoline fuel spill, we don't want to splash or dilute that. We want to control it, contain it, and extinguish it. This training was in anticipation of a call like I-70. It was a recognizing, hey, we could have this type of an incident anywhere in our district. The prop is simulating a truck with a 55 gallon saddle tank full of diesel fuel. We have a car prop that's an uh, ignition source as well. Both of those are propane fires. And then we also have a third vehicle involved where there's victims inside of there. They're mannequins and they're labeled with their gender and age and injuries. So while we're doing our fire attack, our number one priority is always life safety. And so it's how do we extinguish or control the fire and then rescue the people from the car. All training that we do is important. This is just one of the many techniques in our toolbox of things that we need to be able to immediately deploy to help out people in urgent need.